say it was a military experiment gone wrong. He roams the desert feeding off the strangers. They say he has the body of a cougar, the wings of a bat, and the head of a dog. Please save the campfire stories for the campfire. You're going to give him nightmares. <laughs> okay, my turn. There was once an old dad who's been over this. It's not a real fire. There was once a pickup truck following a man for hours and hours down an empty highway. The man slowed down to let the truck overtake him. But when the truck pulled level, the window rolled down and the man realized the truck had no driver! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got one. There was once a very hungry hitchhiker who was lost at night. He saw some light coming in from the house, so he walked in but found it deserted except for one fridge. He slowly opened the door and realized the fridge was empty. Ah! Dad, that was about as scary as being chased by a swarm of butterflies. Yeah, or a street gang of kittens. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Dad. Grown-ups can't tell scary stories. Oh, really? Then what about the tale of the 16-hour shift? With no I think you guys need to hear another story. Hello. My name's Thomas, and I'll tell you a story that is really true. Oh, we're not gonna... We're doing it. Ugh. A long, long time ago. Oh. Bad me the history lesson. Fine, but make it quick. A long, long time ago on Halloween night. Back when the Northwestern Railway was Tilia's previous day. Was Tilia's days. A little engine named Timothy was pulling a passenger train. The late night special ran from Natford through the marathon. The line terminated. The viaduct was still under construction. Timothy was a kind little engine of the E2 class. Like Thomason. I guess that means he was a pretty good looking engine. Ugh, sorry. Timothy was of the E2 class, like Thomas. The bigger it was. The design without the extended side tails. Yes. Silver paint that shone in the moonlight. And his boil is gray. I mean, brown and black. And his roof is yellow with a black line. And the red stuff on his cap. And the blue with the black dot on his back. The trip was going well, and Timothy was making good time as he pulled into Wellsworth Station. But as you and I know, strange things can happen on Halloween. Alright Timothy, we have to deliver this car and this train to the other side of the island. Okay. Alright Timothy, off we go. It's gonna be a long night. Continued to run smoothly for a time. Timothy continued to run smoothly for a time. But as they approached the final station, it happened. Neither the driver nor fire could shut off steam and apply the brakes. Instead, Timothy started to go faster and faster. The station master tried to flag him down, but Timothy Stop! raced right Stop! through the Marin station and into the distance. Towards the unfinished viaduct. And again, Timothy, stop, Timothy! Stop. You're doing us all. But Timothy didn't stop, and he didn't reply. He just kept going, faster and faster. The, the driver and fireman desperately fiddled with the controls. They wouldn't budge. The guard tried to apply the brakes, but they wouldn't work either.
the fat controller came to see him. He was most annoyed. Really useful engines don't try to kill their passengers and crew. I know, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, well, let's get you fixed up. We need you back to work at once. Really? Oh, of course not, you maniac. We only hold you out for the scrap metal. Wait, what? Yeah, guys. Here, there. Back to the Better, better. Hey, this guy looks just like me. Well, that story sucked. There, how is it? That was a weird story. Thomas, you didn't. You're not telling it right. After I know saw you, because my draw. You're outside the story next. Percy, we have to get off Sodor before we succumb to radiation sickness. We have to. I'm like a magical talking train. I think I'll be fine. It's you who needs to get off the island. You sure about that? I think this might be one of those AUs where you're at least partly biological. Gosh dang it, I hate those. Here comes Thomas! Oh my gosh! It's Thomas! And he's been horribly mutated by the radiation! Oh, can you believe the kids these days are into this? I blame Paul's heads. He's gaining on us! I'm gonna chug. I'm gonna chew. I'm gonna... Stop, Lucy. Or the truck gets it. The truck? Oh, him? Go ahead. I have no idea really why I'm back. my train anyway. <sighs> Wait, what? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Go away, Thomas! I'm the number one engine. Whoa. <laughs> yes! That's what you get for breaking the loading gauge! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my gosh! What? What is it? Kid with Thunderbolt just released a new log! It turns out that there was never a nuclear explosion at all! It's actually a conventional explosion orchestrated as part of a vast conspiracy to mutate all of the engines on the island with an injected chemical so that they can be sold for scrap in order for a deleted character from the Magic Railroad to get his revenge on Sir Topham Hat! What, really? Did they inject all the trees as well? Oh my gosh! No! Oh no! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! You wouldn't be stuck if you were like me, Percy. <laughs> but don't worry. Soon it'll be all engines go for you and everyone else on Sodor. <laughs> That's a Thomas promise. Ah! Who's boring now? It's another story. Well, I can't believe you tell that story because I'm hauling them to the them to the their camping place. That's the weird story, but I'll tell one another time. You really nailed it with the big breakdown. I wish I was still wearing diapers. Oh. <laughs>